My name is Bruce Griffin. I'm with the Ottawa Fire Department from up in Canada. We're down here at E1 inspecting our first of eight new aerial apparatus. This is a 100 foot single rear axle metro. Um, can't wait to get this thing back to Canada. We did a couple of improvements on our ladder. Number one, we put a standpipe connection at the top. We have tons of buildings in our area that are under construction where the standpipes are not set up. And by doing that, 100 feet in the air, we can still get our standpipe and just hook our hose directly into it. What that also did is it gave us better storefront ops if we're going to go below grade and give 1,250 gallons right on the storefront. The last thing we asked for is right up on the very tip of the truck, we asked for a clean tip model. So the floodlights are mounted back further. So if we want to set that right into a window, we can without worrying about ripping off the lights. We also went to a low, uh, a small size floodlight, again, just to reduce our overall footprint when we're up there. On the front, because of the brightness of LED models uh, for lighting, we went with fast flash and slow flash on different lighting. So when we're in response mode, everything is fast flash. And when we go to scene mode, when we're stopped, all of the fast flash lights go off and we're just left with a slightly reduced um, pattern, which doesn't give that staccato and that flash that tends to, get, to confuse drivers. Here are two uh, cab innovations that E1 did special for us. The first one is they special built these steps that are now going to be available if you want them on your, your E1 truck. And the basic premise is it gets rid of that extra little bolt-on step on the bottom that tends to get ripped off by speed bumps or by snow. The other thing that they did for us is we wanted three forward-facing seats in the back without increasing our wheelbase. So what the one did is they put air pack pockets in the back of the cab so the air pack is recessed and that meant that we didn't increase our wheelbase. For creature comfort, they cut into the above the wheel well and put it on an angled uh, footrest, which again makes it so much more comfortable when you're sitting in an air pack. And what's nice about it is that when the guys come out of the truck, they're already ready to come down just two steps and there's no pivot and turning. E1 did a special design back end for us. They narrowed the ladder compartment and the back tunnel here to give us a 45 degree cutoff, which reduced our tail swing. The other improvement what happened is that it allowed for an easy climb up that's for larger or small people, it's easy to get up. On the bottom of the turntable, they add an extension and put a saw box. So our saws are right ready to go and you don't have to climb from the bottom to get them up. It's an easy climb straight up the ladder. We wanted two section ladders and the standard for E1 was three section 35s. They made a little extension box for us and that way we were able to get our two section ladders in. And I'm not a big guy, but I can throw a two section 35. I cannot so throw a three section 35. It was important for our firefighters to do this. And so they put two two section 35s in that side. And in this side, a 24 and a, and a roof ladder. The other thing that E1 did for us is they put our pre-connects at the back within the side stacker uh, hose bed. This allows for 300 feet to two and a half, 300 feet inch and three quarter, and 500 feet to five inch. It reduced the amount, by doing this, it took away the cross lays above the pump, which made pump maintenance easier and made access for the mechanics far easier without having to get the piping up to the cross lays. It's easy access from the ground for firefighters to be able to pull off the hose, and we're really pleased with it. In our environment, which has high salt and lots of snow and lots of rain, uh, we wanted to cover our pump panel. E1 enclosed it for us, and it just makes it so much easier. We don't have to worry about freezing and, uh, and just easier for cleaning after a fall. A couple more improvements that E1 did for us. They went to a composite rub rail instead of the typical metal C-channel. What we found with the C-channel is that it can, if you hit something, it tends to rip it open. This is designed that if you hit something, it won't rip it open and hopefully it'll reduce the accident, potential accident damage. The other thing that E1 did, is they put a laser pointer exactly where the outrigger pad goes on this truck. This is only 11 foot outrigger spread, but it just makes it an easy spot. You know exactly where the outrigger pad is to be placed, and it just quickens our setup time. One thing we noted on in our inspection was they put the jack controls in this position. 
We were just a little concerned that it might cause a problem for some of our shorter members. E1 is going to relocate it, even though the truck is virtually finished. And it shows an example of how easy it is to work with them. Uh, they've really made a difference and they've gone all out trying to make our, our product, our end product, well received by the firefighters that are going to use it. The other thing we asked you one to do was to put a control for the waterway right at the pedestal. This means that you don't have to have somebody right at the pump to be able to shut it off in emergency situations. It's a simple thing to ask beforehand. It's a hard thing to do after trucks been built. It was a great uh, experience for us right from the start when we did a request for qualifications through our RFP proposals. They have bent over backwards trying to make sure we get the product that we want. The uh, 1200 Degrees is our dealer and anytime we ask any questions, anytime we've asked for improvements, they immediately respond and the truck is a testament to that. Everything that we asked for has been done.